Hello and welcome to your slow, cozy flow. I am all about being cozy these days, as you can see by this cardigan, by this hat, by these socks. You just know it's gonna be a good one when we're bundled up. So make sure that you have some good layers for this class. We're gonna be building a little bit of movement. I'm just trying to decide how to explain this class. <laughs> Not that I need to, I know that these beginnings are always quite long, but feel free to skip ahead if you'd like. Um, there are definitely options in this class to move a little bit more or to hold the postures a little bit longer, just depending on what you need, what you want, what feels good for you. Um, so maybe you need more layers, maybe you need less, maybe it's minus 30 out, maybe it's plus 30 out. <laughs> I don't know when you're doing this, but regardless, uh, make sure that you're set up nice and cozy. You definitely don't need any props. They're not required for this one. But of course, if there are things that you love using, then please grab them. And whenever you're ready, we'll get nice and cozy. So we'll get started in a child's pose. Whenever you're ready, you can take your knees as wide as you'd like, bring your big toes together, and start to drop your upper body down either taking the arms long out in front, or if you'd prefer stacking your hands and resting your forehead onto your hands, reaching for a prop if you prefer that under your hips or your torso. And throughout this class, there'll be lots of moments for little movements. And so maybe this is one right here. Maybe you don't settle into stillness right away. If you'd like to take a little rock from side to side, just kind of allowing the body to settle into this shape a little bit better or a little bit more. With the slight shifts, maybe you notice that the knees widen or the arms soften a little bit. Maybe you notice the body settling into the shape and this moment. Allowing the breath to guide you a little bit closer to where you are, to what you feel, to you. And we'll be in this child's pose for a few more breaths, if you like, to take the palms together. Maybe reach the arms a bit longer out in front of you as you gently connect the palms. You could gently press into the little pinky finger edge of the hands, or you could start to bend the elbows any amount so that the hands lift off the ground. The hands might land somewhere behind the head. Keep pressing the palms together and gently stretching the elbows forward and slightly in towards each other so there's a little bit more space in the upper back and through the backs of the arms. Allow the heart to soften, the forehead to rest on something. Take one more deep breath in. And as you breathe out, start to lower the hands down if they were lifted. Plant them about shoulder width apart and inhale. Start to round up through cat pose, rounding through the spine, adjusting knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. And on your exhale, soften through the stomach, lift the heart, lift the tail, your cow. Breathe in as you push the ground away, really rounding through the upper back, tuck chin, tuck tail. And as you breathe out, start to soften. Allow the gaze to shift forward, the tail to lift up. Take a few more rounds of breath, either staying exactly as you are on all fours, or as you start to arch the back into your back bend, you might bring the hips towards the heels back into your child's pose. As you breathe in, you might round back forward, shifting into tabletop through cat, and just allowing the breath to take you forward and back. If this is not feeling good, you can definitely stay on all fours without this pulse forward and back. I like to call this a wave, feeling the movement wave up and down the spine, the body wave forward and back, the breath wash through the body. If this feels a little intense for the low back, I find it helpful to press into the tops of the feet and the shins a little bit more, especially as you arch back and to engage just a little bit through the lower abdominals. 
to support the low back. If you're waving, using your next inhale to bring you forward and your exhale to come into a melting heart. So slide the hands towards the top of the mat. Start to melt the heart towards the ground. Hips could be really high or they could be a little bit closer to the heels, more of that child's pose shape with more opening through the upper arms and back. I like forehead resting on the ground, but if it feels okay for your neck, you might gaze forward. If that feels pinchy or uncomfortable, just bring the forehead back down. If you're feeling lots of tension in the shoulders, you could always take the hands a bit wider as well. Take one more really deep breath in and out. And ground into hands, into forearms as you start to Lower all the way to your stomach, sliding legs long behind you. Allow the upper body to drop a little bit as we take hands wide, tent onto fingertips. The hands are off the mat. Inhale, lifts upper body. Exhale, lower. I love taking three of these. So we'll take two more, lift the heart. Lower down. Last time, big wave up the spine and slowly roll it back down. From here, we'll take broken wing. The right arm stretches out to the side like a wing, palm down. Roll towards your right side. You can use your left hand to gently push the ground away. Left foot could step behind you. Left leg could be long or bent. Allow the head to rest either on the floor or the left hand or a prop. Maybe even left arm reaches behind you if that's available. Feel the breath washing through you. Notice where the tension and the resistance is. Can you breathe into and maybe eventually through those spaces? One more full breath in. And on the breath out, start to roll back through center. We'll switch sides. Left arm stretches out wide, palm down. Roll towards your left side. Right leg could step behind you, either long or bent. Head could rest on the ground or a prop or your right hand. Or again, maybe that right arm likes to rest to the low back. Find the breath and follow it as you breathe in fully and out completely. One more smooth breath in. And on the breath out, start to roll back onto your stomach. Press yourself back. Feel free to take a child's pose along the way to a downward facing dog. Sending hips up and back whenever you are ready. And pedaling out the feet. Pressing one heel down and then the other. Maybe you take an exaggerated bend in one knee. Kind of bump your hips from side to side, shake out the head, not only getting length through the back of the body, but also through the sides of the body. How can this shape, how can this movement feel good, feel cozy, feel nourishing and safe in the body? And slowly come to stillness. And take the feet a little wider than the hips, soft bend in the knees as you crawl hands towards feet. Keeping the knees as bent as you need to here, fold it over the legs. If you have a prop and want the floor a little closer, it could be helpful to have one hand on a block as the right arm starts to circle back and up, forward and down. Switching sides, sweep left arm back and up forward and down. Continue right arm, bending knees as much as you need, making big, slow and smooth circles. Take one more from side to side, evening it out, but just taking your time.
Once you've evened it out, fold it over the legs. Let's take a halfway lift, lengthen the spine, strong legs, long spine. Fold on the breath out. Inhale, carries you all the way up to standing. Palms touch at the top. And exhale, bring hands to heart. And just pause here for a full breath in. Full breath out. Big breath in, reach arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale to your halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, let it go. Plant the hands down, crawl out into a dog. You can either stay exactly as you are or on your inhale, lift up high onto the toes, heels lift from the ground, move forward to a plank. And on your exhale, bend the knees as much as you'd like, send the hips back. That wave of the spine carries you back into your dog. A couple more rounds of breath. Inhale, waves you forward. Exhale, brings you back. If this is not feeling good, but you still want to wave, you could drop the knees down, come back to child's pose, round through cat, and arch through cow. Either way, just exploring movement in the spine or breathing in stillness. Take one more round of breath wherever you are. Meeting in either a downward dog or a table so that we can carry right leg high on a big breath in. Step the right foot up as high as it'll go on the breath out. Start to turn, face the long edge of your mat and shift from side to side. Bending into one knee, bending into the other. As hips reach back and down, feel free to pause on one side. Linger there in stillness a little bit longer or just continue to sway. Hands could be on the ground or they could be hovering or maybe you wanna open up a little bit. Maybe you reach one arm up or behind you. Just exploring what feels good today. There is no right or wrong. Next time you bend into the right knee, start to turn, face the top of the mat. Left hand will be under left shoulder, heel toe right foot a little bit wider. The back left knee could be up or down. Bring right hand behind the head. Inhale, rolls the right shoulder back. And exhale, unwind. Again, big breath in, roll right shoulder back. Exhale, unwind. This time, inhale, roll right shoulder back, pause. Reach right arm up. Lower left knee if it was lifted. Turn left toes behind you. This is always a bit of a tricky transition, so take your time. Left knee is down, left toes turn behind you. Right leg stretches long to the back of the mat. You're in a side plank on the left. And then take a few big circles with that right arm. I don't know if I've ever taught in a toque before, but I feel like I'm eating my hair. <laughs> the coziest thing you could be doing. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Switch direction. Next time, right hand lowers down. Take the left knee, that bottom knee, a little bit ahead of you so that you can lower to a seat. Left foot meets the inside of the right leg. So right leg long, left leg bent. Slide right hand down the leg. It could rest on the leg or the floor or a prop. Reach left arm up and over, full breath in. On the breath out, roll the left shoulder down. And take a few more rounds of breath. You could stay with opening and closing. Or if there's a place that you wanna pause and breathe into, feel free to explore that too. Maybe you're enjoying a bit more of a side stretch or a bit more of a fold. Enjoying the length through the back of the leg, and the spine. Wherever you are, take one more deep breath in and out. If you folded, you can lift the upper body, 
We're keeping the left leg bent and coming into a pigeon. So the left knee slides to the top of the mat. As you roll the right hip down, you kind of need to slide the right leg a bit more behind you. If you'd prefer deer, right knee can slide behind left foot, both legs bent. Wherever you are, find a nice place for your hips to be, maybe reaching for a prop for underneath of them or for underneath of your hands. If you're craving folding forward right away, don't let me stop you. You can let the upper body drop over the left leg. Or if you want to take a few little lifts and lowers with the spine, it could feel nice to tent up onto fingertips and just allow the upper body to float around, either up and down or a little wiggle side to side. Playing with where the hands are, they could be closer or further away and just playing with the movement. Seeing what comes up, what changes as you move, or even as you enjoy stillness, what's changing, what's coming up, what's opening up, what can you set aside to get more cozy, more comfortable, more rested, Take three more rounds of breath, whether you're moving or enjoying stillness. And if you'd like to linger where you are for a bit longer, please do. If you're ready to start to lift the upper body, plant the hands down. Step back either to a child's or a table or a down dog and take a little bit of movement to flush that out. And maybe a big pedal with the feet, a big sway of the hips. And it could be nice to breathe in stillness, either in your dog or your child's. Or as you breathe in, you might wave forward, rounding through the spine. As you breathe out, bend the knees as much as you'd like. Lead with the hips as you send them up and back into your dog. At any point, if you'd prefer lowering the knees down, please do. Take a few more rounds of breath with movement or with stillness. Next exhale brings you back either to dog or to table. Inhale, carries left leg high. On your exhale, step the left foot up as high as it'll go. Turn to face the long edge of the mat and sway side to side. Again, of course, with the theme of this class, <laughs> and as always, continue to move if you'd like, or pause and breathe into a sensation, a shape, Next time you bend into left knee, start to turn, face the top of the mat. Right hand under right shoulder, heel toe left foot a little wider. Right knee could be up or down. Bring left hand behind the head. On an inhale, roll left shoulder back to twist. Exhale, unwind. Again, breathe in, roll the shoulder back. Breathe out, unravel. Last time, inhale, roll back, open, stretch left arm to the sky. Take your time as you lower right knee down, turn right toes behind you, slide left leg long, side plank on the right. Take a few big circles with that left arm up and around, maybe you roll out the wrist a little bit. Switch direction. And what feels good to you right now? Where is sensation coming up? Next time the left fingers float down, start to lower to a seat, sliding that right shin a little bit out in front of you so that you can drop the hips down with left leg long, right foot to inside of left leg. Slide left hand down, either the leg or onto the floor as right arm reaches up and over, big breath in. 
Use your exhale to roll your right shoulder down to fold. And then again, either stay with movement or enjoy stillness or a bit of both. Nobody says you have to stick to just one. Take one more full breath in. Let it go. Slowly lift the upper body if you were folded. Keep right leg bent as you turn the upper body to face the top of the mat. Slide the right knee behind the right wrist, right heel in front of left hip, or again, if you'd prefer, bending both knees, deer pose or pigeon. Adjust the hips a little. Oftentimes, I feel like the body needs a little bit of a wiggle to find where it needs to be. And maybe you fold forward or maybe you enjoy more wiggles, more exploration, getting curious about the different ways that you can move in the different shapes. Reminding yourself there's no right or wrong and that it doesn't matter what it looks like. Our focus is on sensation, which is oftentimes very refreshing in the world that we live in. You can decide if you want to continue to move or continue to enjoy stillness for a few more rounds of breath. One more deep breath in and out. And slowly lift the upper body. And walk your hands under your shoulders. One more time, you can either step back to child or dog or a different shape. Maybe take a bit of movement here to flush out the hips. Maybe one more big wave or a few waves up and down the spine before meeting in a child's pose, gently lowering knees down, hips towards heels. And let the upper body really rest. Maybe resting head on hands or arms might even rest down by your sides, hands by your feet. Really rounding in. Folding in on you, feeling this warmth and this shift of energy. And if this is feeling really nice, there's no rush. But when you're ready to lift the upper body, and you could start to lift it up and either find a comfortable seat or come onto your back. You might take a moment to wrap yourself up, whether you're seated or you're on your back. I tossed my cardigan over there. I might just grab it. <laughs> take a moment to get cozy, to take any final movements that you need to take. Any final shapes that the body is craving. So that you can land right here, right where you are, right where you need to be. Finding a comfortable shape whenever the time comes. And 
And let's take three deep breaths together. And just start by emptying the lungs completely. And take a nice full breath in. Long breath out. Again, breathe in, fill all the way up. Breathe out, maybe you sigh, empty completely. Last one. And then just allow the breath to wash through you like a wave, taking with it what is no longer needed, and offering something new. And wherever you are, if you feel comfortable bringing your palms together and just starting to rub them. So you create a little bit of warmth and friction and energy between the palms. Maybe you rub a little bit faster, a little bit stronger. And then pause and place your hands right over your heart. Feel it beat, feel this warmth, this energy, this love and this care that you've just given yourself. I hope that you can hold this warmth and this love and this feeling close to you as you move forward. Thank you so, so much for being here. I really appreciate you. It blows my mind thinking that there are people that choose to practice with me at home or wherever you are. And it's just a feeling and something that I am always just so lucky. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this, but I appreciate you and this is really special. So thank you. And I look forward to practicing with you sometime soon.